VBA is an entire language. There's a reason why they are called programming languages. And much like the languages that we speak, programming languages have patterns and structures that we can depend on. For instance, nouns. We have those in VBA, we call them objects. Objects are things like worksheets, rows, cells, the things in Excel. As you get started, most of your programming sentences will start with objects. More on that in a second. Let's talk about verbs, which are words that describe actions. In VBA, we call these methods, and methods do something. They take an action, like copy or paste. And we are also really commonly going to use adjectives, or what we call properties. If we were referring to font, for example, we might use these terms to define the font's color or size, or whether it's bold or italic. Now that we have some verbal concepts to lean on, let's talk about how you structure a VBA sentence. Generally, your starting sentences should always start with an object, a thing. Have you ever noticed that in Microsoft tools, you need to click on an object before you can affect it? Before you can change a chart, you have to click on it first. If you want to add borders to a table, you have to select the table or cell first. You have to select to affect. And this principle stems from the programming. The underlying programming requires you to name an object before you do anything else. So we are going to start our programming sentences with an object. After stating the object, we can make it take an action or maybe define a characteristic of the object. For our first example, let's take a row. If you wanted to copy a row, it would look like row dot copy. Copy is a method or verb because it does something. If we wanted to adjust the height of the row, that's a description of the object, which would be a property. To adjust the row height, we would use, well, the row height property. A lot of UB terms are pretty straightforward. It's convenient. Okay, let's learn our first and most important object names, and then we'll do some actual programming. You ready? <laughs> 